a year ago, to the day, Meghan raised eyebrows when she debuted a less-than-perfect curtsy to the Queen. But it appears the Duchess of Sussex has been practicing because today, despite being pregnant, she adhered to royal protocol and knelt down much further. Royal experts criticized Meghan last year fire for her poor attempt compared to Kate's more polished effort. This year, the pregnant Duchess pulled off a much deeper curtsy, with her hands clasped together and head bowed as a sign of respect outside the St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham. Last year, Meghan's right foot was not properly planted behind her left leg which meant she was not able to curtsy deep enough while maintaining balance. However this year, the Duchess of Sussex was seen giving herself a much more solid platform from which to curtsy as she fully planted her right foot behind her left leg and bowed deeply out of respect. Royal Butler Grand Herald said, What you should be doing, for a lady, is the right foot behind the left, and then it is a gentle bob. You keep the hands and because you're not a penguin. The Duchess of Cambridge, who politely curtsied to her husband's grandmother alongside Meghan, pulled it off with aplomb, according to Mr. Harold. Kate kept her back straight and bent slightly at the knee in her black heels, however Meghan dipped too low and bowed her head in last year's effort. Princes William and Harry simply nodded their heads beside their respective other halves in front of the gathered crowds eager to catch a glimpse of the royal family's new Fab Four. The 37-year-old relied on Prince Harry to tell her exactly when to curtsy last year as she held on to her Chloe handbag. But this year the Duchess, who came in on Prince Harry's arm, chose to go chic in dark colors and high-heeled black boots. She wore a double-breasted tailored 2,250-pound coat from the VB line as well as a pair of boots by David Beckham's wife. The stylish Duchess also carried a 1,200 pounds powder box bag by the Spice Girl turned designer. However, she was matched perfectly with her husband who wore a lighter shade of blue. The former Suits actress who married Prince Harry in May also wore black, calf-height boots over a dark dress, coat and matching hat with dark blue feathers protruding from it.